Hello, Scots fans, and welcome to the Scots Broadcasting Network. Today we're with Coach Daniel Washburn. He enters his fifth season as the head baseball coach at Maryville College. In his first four seasons at the helm, Coach Washburn has amassed 85 wins, two great South Athletic Conference championships, and his club have set numerous school records. Since his arrival, the Scots have placed 10 individuals on the Great South Athletic Conference team, including the 2007 and 2009 Great South Conference Players of the Year. We're here with head baseball coach Daniel Washburn. We're going to talk a little bit about the infield corner positions. Coach, tell us about the 2011 Scots infield. Well, we've got uh, some very good experience um, at the corner positions, actually all around the infield. But uh, Blaine Reese, uh, my senior from Ohio, uh, will get the nod at third base. Um, and Kyle Sapresiak, a, a senior from the Atlanta area down in Georgia, will get the nod at first base. Both have great experience. Uh, we're starters last year. Uh, Blaine actually uh, moving him from second base to third for this season, but um, very excited about what they're what they're going to do for us at the corner position. You know, following up with those two guys, a uh, uh, young man we've been very impressed with so far, Andrew Mabini, uh, a freshman from the Atlanta area, has has uh, done a good job establishing that. Uh, you know, he's a guy that ultimately is going to be a very, very good player for us. And right now, he's going to be the uh, probably the next infielder in uh, to fill roles that we need to have filled at, uh, at times during the year. But we've been very pleased with his progress, as well as Nick Dean uh, and his his contributions to uh, the infield, uh, but also to the mount or on the mound. Excuse me. Uh, he's going to be a good two player, two way player for us. Any championship team is very strong up the middle, and this year is no exception with your shortstop and second baseman. Tell us a little bit about uh, the middle infield positions. Certainly. Uh, very fortunate with the experience we have all across uh, our starting lineup and, and our shortstop, Miles Cordell, is a senior uh, from Alabama. Uh, spent two years at Walter State Community College and, and uh, was our starter at short last year. On the second base, um, uh, we've got uh, Aaron Johnson is, is going to be our starter at second base. He's a guy that, that actually started for us at, at shortstop as a freshman, was an all-conference player, uh, started at third as a sophomore, and I guess we're asking him to make another move here this year and, and bump over to second base. But very very talented um, defender, and I think that that's uh, his skills at second base I think are going to lend our ability to turn the double play, and, and uh, um, he's just capable of making some plays some out of the ordinary kind of plays. He's just that kind of player. Uh, and behind behind Aaron Johnson is, is Blake Gentry, uh, who's, who's a junior college transfer that joined us this fall. Uh, went to Columbia State, and I've just been very impressed. He's made steady improvements since he started day one in the fall uh, to continue to push up the, the depth chart and be a guy that's competing with Aaron uh, daily, uh, but very much right there pushing, pushing Aaron along. He's, he handles the bat well. Uh, can do some different things with him. He's just a, uh, a athletic guy that knows how to run the bases and and a very baseball savvy kid uh, or guy. And I'm just very very impressed with how he's handled himself to date. I, I I'm looking forward to having Blake uh, do some neat things for us during his his final two years in college. Over your past four years as a head coach here at Maryville College, you've always had a very strong outfield. Tell us a little bit about the depth and the quality of players you have roaming Scotland Yard this year. Well, it's a, it's a strength, certainly a strength of ours. Uh, uh, I mean, our slowest runner of the, of the three starters is a, is a 7-0 guy, and, and very few balls um, seem to fall in and around to, you know, where we're at on the ball field. So pitchers, of course, love that. Uh, it, it helps the tempo of the game. It helps the speed of the game. It helps the, the crispness of our performance when those guys are, are out there doing their job. Uh, all three have great arms, um, and certainly it's going to be a strength of ours is outfield defense. Um, Corey Kopech is a, a junior uh, from South Florida that uh, uh, started a good bit in right field last year. Uh, will be in left field this year to start the season. Uh, Zach Hargett is a, a senior, uh, has played throughout his career, uh, started as a freshman and, and has great experience now going into his senior year, uh, former GSAC freshman of the year. Uh, who's who's going to provide some some leadership and stability, and again another athletic guy that that uh, has a strong arm and, and does a lot of different things at the plate as a hitter. And of the of the three, the final one, uh, Mikey Moore's um, uh, probably probably the most uh, gifted outfielder that I've had in, in 11 years of coaching. Uh, he's he's just uh, his instincts and his quickness 
uh, as a defender in, in center field are are just outstanding, and that's his that's his strength. And he's got a plus arm. Uh, he, th he really throws it well from the outfield. Uh, last year was a, a Gold Glove recipient uh, recipient in the South Region as an outfielder, and I think very well deserving of that. And, and going into his sophomore year, uh, we're expecting some exciting things. And as far as battling for that, what would be the next position, next outfield position? Uh, we've got two guys. We've got a senior, uh, Joe Saverino, um, who's a, a transfer, uh, was a role player last year, a guy that, that uh, I think has done a good job, especially early in the spring, to prepare himself uh, and has been keep competing hard for that fourth position. And then uh, Nick Baker is a junior from the Chattanooga area that, that uh, started some games as a freshman. Um, we had some injuries, uh, his, what was his first year, and he ended up uh, playing more and more as the season went on and uh, played center field uh, the second half of the season, really, on a, on a uh, conference tournament championship team. Uh, so he brings good experience, and I think he's a, a very baseball-savvy guy and will certainly be able to add some things. But those are the two guys right now that are competing for, for that fourth outfield position.